Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Oh, hello. Welcome to Dan's Soapbox. This is the video of the week from Computer Science E1. My name is Dan Armendaris, and today we're going to be talking about hosting options for your website. Hopefully you've seen the other video of the week where I discuss domain name options. So you have a domain name, something like yourname.com. Now you need a place to actually put your website. Well, you have a lot of options when it comes to hosting. Uh, you have to decide a number of things. First, you have to decide how much money you want to spend. You can spend only a couple dollars a month, or you can spend thousands of dollars a day. Well, maybe not a day, but quite a bit of money. You have to consider what audience do you want to reach. Is this going to be a very large website? Is it going to be a, a business website, or is it going to be a small personal site where only a few of your friends may see it? Uh, another thing is, what about the current size and the projected size of your site? it's a business site, might it grow? Might it shrink? Well, we'll see. What about unexpected growth? You have to take this also into consideration. Perhaps your hosting will give you a little bit of buffer space so that you have some room to work with. Another thing you have to consider is what features you want. Do you want just a plain HTML web page? Maybe you want some scripting in it, some PHP or some CGI. Perhaps you want some more advanced scripting, or uh, maybe you want your own shop, for example, and maybe you want to stream some video. Maybe you have your own videos of the week to share with everyone. Well, you have a number of options, just like everything else when it comes to hosting providers. Let's take a look here. All right, we've got, oh man, we've got uh, dreamhost.com, we've got thehostgroup.com, we've got aplus.net.5 hosting, uh oh GoDaddy, uh, we, there's a lot of options. Uh, gosh, let's see, I have a, I have a little uh, summary here, a cheat sheet of sorts. GoDaddy.5 hosting, aplus.net, the host group, dreamhost.com, Apollo hosting, smallbusiness.yahoo.com slash webhosting, ProHosting.com, NetworkSolutions.com, and HostBite.com. These are all just examples of something of web hosts that you can find just by Googling around. So one of the things that you can do, of course, is just go to Google, uh, look around for some web hosts. Right here, I actually have one up right now called a SmallOrange.com. So let's go ahead and see what kind of products they offer. Click on Services. Uh, they have what's called shared web hosting, which is which means that they have maybe one server and a couple of people share that server. Uh, unless you really have a very, very large website that's going to get a lot of traffic, this is probably an okay option for you, the most cost effective. So here we can see that we have a super website with 4,500 megabytes of space, or about 4.5 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, and it's only $30 a month. Now you may find this to be a pretty good deal, or you may not. Of course, I just as I just showed you, there are a lot of options for you to choose from. So take a look around. Find out which one will work for you and um, have fun with your website. So this price may fit the bill or it may not. It all depends on your needs. Go ahead and take a look at all the various hosting options that you have and then go ahead and have fun. My name is Dan Armandaris. Thank you for listening and have a great night.